This video is a quick guide how to install an IDE drive in a 286, 386 and an early 486 system. You need an IDE controller, hard drives, cables and information about the jumpers. Here we have a Facial Local Bus IDE controller for a 486 system with two channels and a floppy controller and the normal I.O. On this card we have here all the information. It's best to set them to default and only change them in special situations with rare hardware. Here's the I.O. controller which came with the 286 system which we are going to use today for this video. This card is working so I don't need to set the jumpers but I found the information online so I can make changes if needed. The cables you need are just normal IDE cables. You need to have IDE cables with all the pinholes open because the older cards have 40 pins and not 39 pins like the later motherboards. To make sure your cable is connected the right way. Look on the connector and see where pin 1 is. The colored side of the cable goes on the side of pin 1. Here we have four hard drives ranging from 120 megabytes to 270 megabytes. And the first thing to do is to set the jumpers for master and slave configuration, just like modern ID hard drives. The best way to find the settings is to look them up on the internet. Just google the type number of the hard drive and you will find uh, most of the information of the jumpers of the drives. To install the drives in the BIOS of your system you need some more information of the drives. You need to know how much cylinders they have, how many heads they have and how many sectors they have. On this IBM hard drive the information is uh, written on the sticker. But for this Seagate I had to uh, find the information online. Seagate has good information about the drives and here's the information for this drive. It has 1024 cylinders, 12 heads and 17 sectors. I put stickers on all my drives with the cylinders, heads and sector information. We are now ready for the next step. Installing the hardware and setting up the BIOS. Don't forget to connect the LED LED to the I.O. controller. Now the drive is connected, we hit the lead to go into the BIOS. We go to hard drive C type and with page up and down we can select all kinds of hard drive profiles. This Seagate is not in the list, so we go to the last profile. Uh, it's here type 47 it, and this is the user type. And we're gonna type in the details of the hard drive. 1024 cylinders, 12 heads, the WPCOM and the L zone can be both zero, we don't need uh, that setting for IDE drives and the sectors are 17 and as you can see we have now a, a 102 megabyte hard drive with escape we go out of the BIOS and we want to save it as you can see the hard drive is working now there's an old installation of MS-DOS on it but we're gonna make a fresh installation of MS-DOS on it. I'm gonna remove this partition, then format it and install a fresh installation of DOS 6.22. Insert the first disk and reboot. We're gonna press F3 uh, twice so we go out of the installation. Then we go to F disk display the partition information and we see we have one primary DOS partition named Freddy. We're gonna delete it. Okay the partition is deleted and we're gonna make a new partition with option 1. A primary partition we want to maximum space and we want to have it active 
The system will restart now and then we can format the drive. Format cwpn slash s so it will copy system files. The hard drive is formatted now and it has no errors. We can remove the MS-DOS installation diskette and reboot the system. On the hard drive we only have the minimal files to have a booting MS-DOS system. To have a full installation we must run the setup again. MS-DOS is now fully installed and from here you can start uh, installing your games and tools like Norton Commander. So now you know how to install a hard drive in a 286-386 or an early 486 without auto hard drive detection. If you have questions please ask them below. If you have problems uh, with your retro system uh, and want some support you can come to our Facebook group. It's called Retro Machines. We can help you there and you can show off your system, share retro stuff. We have a nice group of active people and all systems older than 10 years are welcome. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.